Hello guys, what's up? This is Morteza and welcome to another episode here at the Coder's Journey where we are talking about writing clean code in C Sharp. I hope you have enjoyed watching the previous videos and here we are going to talk about naming a little bit more. Again, I am in this project naming in my solution clean code and we are going to talk about choosing, you know, good names for methods, classes, parameters, variables and so on. Uh, just before we get into the details of choosing, you know, good names, I want to talk about casing a little bit. As you might, you know, have heard before, we have uh, mostly two different uh, casings in C Sharp. We can use either, you know, Pascal casing or uh, we can use um, Camel casing. Let's talk about these a little bit. So uh, camel casing is when uh, the name that you choose, for example, uh, as you can see here, all of the letters for the first, you know, word is uh, in lowercase and the first letter on, of each, you know, uh, subsequent uh, word is, is uh, in the uppercase, only the first letter. But Pascal casing is when the first letter of every single word is in uppercase. So for different, you know, uh, constructs in our C sharp, we, we use different casings. For example, for the names of our classes, uh, uh, it is, uh, you know, uh, recommended to use uh, Pascal casing. But for, for example, the names of variables, local variables, or uh, the parameters of our methods, it is recommended to use uh, camel casing. Something else that I want to talk about is uh, uh, using, you know, uh, known uh, abbreviations, well-known abbreviations or well-understood abbreviations is acceptable. For example, instead of using, I don't know, hypertext uh, transfer protocol, it is acceptable to use HTTP, you know, because uh, mostly everyone, every programmer knows HTTP. It is a well-known well understood you know uh, abbreviation so if you want to go for this you know uh, abbreviation or acronym it is you know it is acceptable another example is io input output again it is acceptable to use you know well understood uh, acronym using you know acronyms in pascal casing again is very important for pascal casing if you know the acronym is two letters like IO, you should uh, write it like this. Both of the you know letters will be in uppercase, but for HTTP because it is more than two letters, it is recommended to write it like this. So only the first letter will be you know capitalized. For a camel casing, it is you know much simpler. For example, for camel casing, you can say, okay, IO camel casing, like this, or HTTP camel casing. For camel casing and the acronyms, all of the letters, you know, if they come uh, at the beginning, all of the letters will be written as lowercase letters. So if you try to stick with these conventions, with these, you know, rules, uh, your code will be much cleaner uh, and we will talk about when to use you know Pascal casing in C sharp and when it is recommended to use camel casing uh, as we go over the videos but in this video I just wanted to touch uh, upon this uh, topic very briefly because uh, this is something that I myself refer to in my videos whenever I want to for example write down something or write a piece of code sometimes i say pascal casing and camel casing and i know that maybe there are some people who do not know what camel casing or pascal casing means and there are other you know ways of uh, uh, writing uh, these you know names for example you can uh, have uh, you know uh, underscore letters between the different words for example you can say http http casing Again, these are the different styles which are used in different languages. But for C sharp, it is mostly, you know, uh, it is mostly recommended to use these two types of casings: Pascal casing and Camel casing. 
Thank you so much, people, for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I in this video, I just wanted to talk about the you know topic of casing because I think it is very important. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Share this video with a friend, and uh, you know if you have enjoyed it, why not giving it a thumbs up, a like, and also activate the notification bell so that you can you know get notified whenever I publish a new video. Uh, that's it. That's all for today. And I will, you know, talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.